Welcome back to the podcast, Eye to Eye in the Parks, part two, I guess as you want to call it, episode two. Brittany and I are back in the saddle together, and what an episode to get back together on. I don't think that we honestly planned it this way, but my goodness, this is not even going to be just the Eye to Eye in the Park show. This is going to be D23 show Palooza. As I addressed at the out start of the show, my name's Kyle. I am a host or co-host number one. Number two with me is my good friend and sister-in-law, Brittany Reese, who's Hello. here to talk with all of us today about stuff in the parks, mainly Walt Disney World stuff. But of course, if it's park stuff, we're interested and we're going to talk about it today. My goodness, Brittany, uh, we have a lot to talk about, don't we? We have a lot to talk about. It was a crazy D23 weekend. We're a couple weeks late, but we just need a time to process and to figure out how we feel and what we like, what we are still trying to cope with. Um, <laughs> cope? But all of this <laughs> I am upset about, I don't want to say goodbye to, but for the most part, it's all good. And I'm excited to dive in and talk more about it. Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, there may be some coping things that need to happen with certain announcements and what it means for the future. But as Walt said himself, it's not a museum. Progress is something that has to happen in these parks. And I think he would be yeah. proud of some of the innovations and some of the things that are coming uh, to Walt Disney World and beyond. So just as a little bit of a housekeeping for everybody out there, typically as we laid out with you guys in our first episode, thank you all for watching and listening to that first one, by the way. But uh, normally we do three segments, a news segment, a kind of a, you know, maybe an interaction with you, the fan segment, and then just like a fun topic thing. We're going to change that a little bit. There's too much to mm -hmm. talk about with D23. So we're going to start right off at the top talking about Walt Disney World announcements because that's what we're most interested in but also that's what the majority of this is anyway. And then maybe a little bit on the second segment carried over from that with some international stuff, Disneyland stuff. And then we're going to give you our top three announcements for <laughs> D23 to round out the show. So let's dive into it, Brittany. You've got a master list for us of yes. all the things. <laughs> we're going to do our best not to leave anything out. So don't, don't hurt us or, or hate us if we leave your favorite thing out. But there's just too much to get excited about here. So yep. why don't you start us off with Magic Kingdom, the D23 announcements. Magic Kingdom, man, that that park, that was full of announcements. Um, mm. This is one that I think I'm just mainly excited for all the changes here. Um, I'm not really sad to see Tom Sawyer Island go, that's for sure. Now listen, listen but... <laughs> you, can't, you can't start the show by taking shots at Tom Sawyer Island. That We can't start that way. There's more shots to come, Kyle. Oh, I hate to okay, break it fine. to you. That's fine. However, let, let's just, we'll hold off on all the controversy for now. We'll save that for the third segment, I'm sure. <laughs> so first announcement, Cars Land. Um, it's not going to be an exact replica of Cars Land and Disneyland. This one sounds more frontier, westerny. So I think they're going to tie it in more with frontier land. It is going to take the place of Tom Sawyer Island and the mm. riverboat. Again, I'm not sad to see that go. I've mm. never done it. It doesn't hold a special place in my heart. Mm. Goodbye, Tom Sawyer Island. Um, all we know about it so far is there is going to be a Radiator Springs racer-esque ride. Right. It's not going to be a copy, but something along those lines. Right. Um, probably more of like the Route 66 Western Eve. I, I don't know. That's all we really know. Yeah. About I that. mean, a lot of this is not heavy detail oriented. A lot of it right. is just what we're taking away from concept art, what you mm -hmm. heard if you were able to catch some of the yep. clips from D23. Uh, got commentary on that. You keep going through the list of, of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff really is they gave us an inch and we're taking a mile. Like I'm zooming into concept arts, like the most that you can zoom back. Is that a, a racetrack? Is that a roller coaster? <laughs> what is that? Um, so second announcement for Magic Kingdom is drum roll. We've all been waiting for this one. Villains land. Woo! Da, da, da. Finally. <laughs> so it's excited. Coming. So excited for that one. That is, I'm pretty sure confirmed going to be beyond Big Thunder Mountain. Mm -hmm. I think that's Which... confirmed will probably mean that that takes up the rest of the Tom Sawyer Island wa Rivers of America waterway. Right. That's probably where this is going. I think if you look at a map, you're going to see where this is going. All right. 
but what else? Uh, and then as, as far as Villains Land, we don't know much. I'm pretty sure they said there's going to be two rides, possibly a roller coaster. This is me doing some zooming in on concept art. It looks like a roller coaster and some kind of dark boat ride, mm -hmm. uh, which seems pretty on on brand for Disney to have a, a dark ride and a coaster. Yep. So yes. that's great. I'm fine with that. Um, but all of that is just speculation, not not confirmed for sure the amount of rides the type of rides right but villains land is confirmed and that's all we care about <laughs> that's all we care about at this all point. we care about uh, and then the third announcement i have is there's going to be a new nighttime parade called disney starlight it will start in 2025 it's going to feature peter pan the pinocchio blue fairy i'm not sure who that is Oh no. Oh list. no. Oh no. It's the blue fairy. You've never heard that quote. Before? I'm just not Pinocchio girl. Mm. I know. We'll make you the mm. we're gonna make you a classic Disney person before this is all done. <laughs> we can edit that part out if we need to. <laughs> oh no, it's there and uh, listen, listen, we're putting ourselves out there and whatever you say into the mic for the most part goes out there. I'm just not a big classic Disney movie girl, for those who don't know. I am more so Disney Parks and the newer age Disney movies. Uh, you know, some of those old movies, especially Snow White, kind of give me the creeps. It's not Pinocchio definitely you know, gives me the creeps. You know, there's this thing called like a, a hole and you're digging it. And I'm going to let you continue to dig that for yourself. It, it's just beneficial for you. The deeper I dig my hole, the higher you rise. Just let me keep going. <laughs> wow. That was very clever. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so also Frozen and Encanto are going to be featured in the nighttime parade. Um I'm excited for this parade. I'm yeah. not a big parade nighttime spectacular person. I usually utilize that time like with you and we're there together. I feel like we're just like knocking out ride after ride after ride during these times when the lines are a little bit shorter, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to go see this, especially since it's going to be something new. So I don't know. Right. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, I'm excited for it. And those are the main big announcements for our, um, for magic kingdom that we're going to discuss. I think, a parade and it not, ha not magic kingdom, not having one based on what I grew up with is just a travesty. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you look at the crowds and what gathers for fireworks these days, you're going to wonder how are they going to clear that space out quickly yeah. enough and how they're going to do. Yeah. Forward. I definitely wonder the timing of it. Is it going right. to be before happily ever after or after? Is it going to be on main street? Uh, there's a lot of questions left unanswered. A lot of questions, but that's not our problem. That's their problem yeah. to figure out. We get to enjoy it. Y'all stress about everything else. Love that that's coming back. It just feels right. And obviously, when we get more details about that, we'll talk about it here, as we will with most of these things. But let's talk about these two major announcements very briefly before we move on to the other parks. Villains Land, very much needed. It gives Magic Kingdom that little bit of an, I want to call it an edge, but it's not even like more of an adult edge, but everybody knows magic kingdom is more of the, the family atmosphere the princesses and stuff like that and adding that to the back of the park kind of mm -hmm. gives you that feel can you imagine what they're going to do for halloween back there oh my gosh it's going to be incredible it's I, it's going to be just fitting i think to have something about this place of magic and wonder and all that stuff and have it this ominous thing in the back that you can probably hear see maybe there's fire shooting up out of some mountains mm -hmm. that you can see from other parks at night drawing you back there who knows i love that so you, you you're pretty sure from that concept art that we're gonna have a coaster that's what it looks like and from all of the research and looking at other blogs and the instagram pages it, it looks like yes looks like yeah. a coaster and some kind of boat ride I've seen the concept art and analyzed it as well. And that was my assumption too. I don't see how you make a villain's land and don't have some type of coaster, probably Maleficent, oh, yeah. probably her, her character, her mm -hmm. castle. She's yep. just the, the queen. She's the bee. queen bee. <gasps> right. <Thanks>. Wow. <laughs> how did that happen? I owe you a soda when we go uh, to club cool again in Epcot. So nice. No Beverly, uh, please. Oh, dang it. I was going to say it's going to be that. <laughs> Villains Land. There you go. All right. Cars Land. I'm not even sure I am going to call it Cars Land, to be honest with you. Because the feeling that I got, Brittany, is this is just a ride that is going to be Frontier themed, uh, Cars themed, going to Frontier Land. 
Yep. That's the vibe I got. More, and I know people are calling it Cars Land, but that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, and I mean, there's, I haven't seen much concept art for it yet, other than the rides. So yeah, I don't really know so much what the land is going to look like. And this is another one where I don't really know why Disney feels like they have to duplicate things in Orlando and things in California. Money, money, but, money. Well, yeah, but then what's the draw for me to go visit California when there's already a Cars Land here? There is already a Galaxy's Edge here. Because they're different. Because they're a little bit different. Fairly. Galaxy's Edge is pretty much the same. Yeah, so it, I, I can attest to that. Having walked through that, I literally said the only difference is this pathway over here. That's yeah. it. So, I mean, it would have made, not that I'm complaining, I love cars, I'm excited for new rides, but in my opinion, it would have just made more sense to turn that area into something else that we didn't right. already have. Right. So, But all that to say, I'm still excited about it. It's going to be great, and I'm glad that it's not going to be an exact replica of Cars Land at Disneyland. I am ashamed that they are taking out my beloved uh, Tom Sawyer's Island and uh, the Rivers of America. It is a painful mm -hmm. realization for me. Now... The last time I st stepped on Tom Sawyer Island was probably five years ago, but that's besides the point. I was going to say, you certainly haven't been since I've been going with y'all because I've never been there. So it's I been will at least say, since 2020. They needed to do something with it. I had some certain opinions about how they could have really maximized that space as it was for Tiana, but we won't go down that pathway because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but there you go. So those are the <laughs> biggest announcements. A Cars Land, Villains Land, the nighttime parade. There's some other things in there, but we're going to try to hit the high stuff right now. Let's move on to another park. You take the pick. All right, let's do Animal Kingdom. You want to take the lead on that one? Oh, yeah. Animal Kingdom. You giving it to me because I'm the animal person? Yeah, there you go. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> or just because she's being nice. Listen, I love Animal Kingdom with all my heart as my background as an animal person working in a zoo previously. And as much as I love the dino theme, it was time for it to go or at least have something done with it. It needed some help. The only reason you go back there is the dinosaur ride. But now it will officially be Tropical Americas. It's going to include a brand new restaurant, an Encanto boat ride, an Indiana Jones refurb of the dinosaur ride. I'm curious what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. Animal Carousel and potentially Zootopia as well coming to the parks in some format. At, and actually, that's been confirmed. I forgot about that. In yes. the Tree of Life. Replacing... That's what I'm so sad about. So that's your place that you're sad about? Mine yes. was Rivers of America? Wow. I love It's Tough to Be a Bug. I'm so sad about that. I know it's old and, you know, it's been around forever. It needs to go. But I love that stupid little show. <laughs> I don't know that... It's, it's weird. Let, let's just start there since those are the main announcements. I don't know that Zootopia in the Tree of Life makes a lot of sense to me. I do think it was time for a refurb. But could you have done that with a bug's life? Could you have done that mm -hmm. in some, with something else? I don't know. Obviously, they have some vision for this. I hate it for you. Since, which is very odd to know that a bug's life is your like nostalgia thing, or it's not even. I don't even care about a bug's life in particular. It's just I love that show. I look. It's I, cute. I like it too. I lean up every time when the wasps come through. Uh, all that a little stuff. little scare in there. Everyone wants to be spooked a little, every now and then. Yeah, yeah. It's it's something that I definitely have a lot of nostalgia for when I go back to my days of traveling with my family as a much younger version of myself. Mm -hmm. But as Walt said, it's not a museum. It's time to change. How they'll work Zootopian, I don't know. <laughs> but that's coming. Let's talk about Tropical Americas. Um, how do you like the name? I feel like it's kind of weird, but um, but I, they had to do something like that to incorporate everything. I mean, if South they're gonna make America, it, yeah, if they're gonna make that. it Toronto and Indiana Jones, I mean, they had to do something that was gonna incorporate well, both of those. So. It certainly couldn't be Dino Land anymore. Um, oh, and I'm fine with that too. I don't, I know that's a hot take, and a lot of people are upset about Dino Land. I'm not, the ride is great, but it's time for something new, and everything back there is so dated. Like, who even plays those little arcade games? Or not arcade, the little fair games. I know what you mean. There. I know what you mean. Hey, now, I, I may have done it once. Yeah, once. That, that was enough. <laughs> 
That was what that was. You're right. Now you didn't do Primeval World. That was gone before mm -hmm. you started. Oh yeah. man, you know, I love it and hate it. That. Yeah, it was an interesting ride. Um, I think it makes sense if they're going to try to make this. And it, you look, you got Asia, you got Africa. Well, it's not Pandora's kind of weird over there, but hey, we'll take it because it's lovely. Uh, but you got to have South America. That's just so rich with like animals and all that stuff. And I hope this is going to give them an opportunity to do some more working in incorporating some more animals over into that side of the park yeah. you know like they do the gibbons at, when you're not walking through the actual zoo park but you got the gibbons that are out there the otters up at the front um you know what else you could say there but maybe mm -hmm. some more opportunities to put on the zoo aspect of animal kingdom with that yeah i feel like I'm, they'll definitely be reaching a lot with antonio's gift of speaking to animals yeah, and that's then a good Encanto point. Because they're, I'm sure they're trying real hard to incorporate animals into Encanto somehow, and that's really the only thing they got to go on. That's a good point. It's a really good point. Uh, Animal Carousel looks like it's basically just replacing the Triceratops spin. Yeah. And finally, this Indiana Jones thing. How does that land mm -hmm. with you? Like, you fan of that? Excited? Uh, about that? I mean, it's new, so I'm excited because it's new. Um, kind of the same thing with the new Cars ride. Sounds like it's not going to be the exact same ride as the one in Disneyland. But again, Indiana Jones, I could take it or leave it. I feel like we already have our little Indiana Jones thing over in Hollywood Studios. So it wasn't necessary per se to have another Indiana Jones attraction. Right. Um, but I mean, kind of neutral on that. Take it or leave it. I will tell you that you know, the Indiana Jones ride and the dino dinosaur rider, basically the same thing, give right. or take theming and a little bit of track variation. I had a lot more fun on the Indiana Jones one than I did dinosaur. And I like dinosaur, mm -hmm. but it makes sense. The mechanisms there, you can change it however you need to. If we're going to do this whole land over again, why not? Let's, let's yeah. give it something newer for Walt Disney world. So that's animal kingdom. We've talked about Magic Kingdom. Got a few more parks in Walt Disney World and some other things maybe to hit on. We're running out of time. There's just too much to talk about. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. Too much on the back end here or in the next segment. We'll talk about what's coming up next. Continuing on our conversation through all the D23 announcements, we've barely even gotten to all the Magic Kingdom ones, and we're skipping over mm -hmm. some of the minor stuff too, just the major things. Let's talk about what I think is your favorite park, Brittany, Hollywood Studios. And yes. I knew it was. <laughs> it changes day to day, so it could be something different tomorrow. But interesting. As of today, August 2024, it is Hollywood Studios. Interesting. But yeah, okay. So main announcement for Hollywood Studios is Monsters Inc. Land. Yes, <laughs> I am so pumped about this. This was the one that, while I don't think it was foreign concept that this might be coming in some capacity to somewhere in Walt Disney World. I don't know why it just the announcement came and I just like jumped up and was like, yes, this, this makes really so much sense to me. I mean, I, I didn't see this one coming at all. I'm so glad that they're adding something new to Hollywood Studios. It desperately needs it. There are not nearly enough attractions in Hollywood Studios to handle all the crowds and there's so much wasted space. Yeah, uh, some of that space is in a certain location. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We can debate the we'll where this that. is going and talk about it. But what you're mm -hmm. getting with it is a inverted coaster. Um, or not a suspended, not a inverted. A suspended, not inverted. Yeah. I always get those interchangeable. But a suspended coaster, basically your, your feet dangle. Feet dangle. They, they do mm -hmm. little, this little thing, and they spin around and stuff. Like yep. Think Dueling Dragons, uh, Universal Studios, for those of you mm -hmm. that rode that in the past. Yeah. Um, what else? Like Batman at Six Flags. Um that's really the biggest announcement as far as new attractions, new lands. Um, they also announced that they are going to be adding a Mandalorian and Grogu scene to the Millennium Falcon. Well done. Well That's done. That's great. That's great. I feel like that was desperately needed. Uh, you know, like Star Tours, you never know what you're going to get. Right. I wish they would do something like that for Flight of Passage. I feel like that would be really great if they could add some new scenes or something from Way of Water. Well, <laughs> well, let's save that because I have we'll we'll mention something coming to Disneyland that I think that's why you're not getting those variations to yeah. to Pandora or to Flight of Passage. Yeah. Uh, but what I do love is what you brought up the variation here. Or I don't know do do we know if it's going to be a complete all you get is Grogu Mandalorian or 
I'm Switching not sure. Uh, I would imagine it's just two completely different scenes, no mixing and matching, but I'm not completely sure on that one. I would uh, hope it's mixing and matching. And, and I mean, part of me the wants only, it to I be mean, a mystery. I feel but... like it would be just because the storyline wouldn't flow as much. Like for Star Tours, it's easy because you're like jumping point to point. Right. But when you're on the Millennium Falcon, like you're there with your pilot and your captain and you're, you know, just going after this. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The, obviously, these are details we'll work out. We're just thinking through them right now. But I love that we're getting a little bit of something extra uh, to a land that is not old, but it's getting older as, you know, the newness is starting to wear off of, of Galaxy's Edge because yeah. it's been around for a while, at least a while considering, you know, if you consider five years uh, a long time. I'm going to go back to this Monsters, Inc. thing because that's the main stuff from Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Where is it going? What do you think? <laughs> I think probably launch bay that makes the most sense to me. There's so much space back there and I don't like launch bay is great, but I feel like you could just pick up launch bay and all of, you know, the, um, I don't want to say posters, but artwork and everything that's back there. Lovely, and, lovely artwork. Yeah. I feel like you could just pick it up and go plop it somewhere over in galaxy's edge. <laughs> like surely they can find some room in galaxy's edge to put that or somewhere by star tours um i just feel like launch bay has so much potential yep and like that little Mer journey of little mermaid i don't know i feel like it should just go right there it makes the most sense there think about you mm -hmm. go through that archway right there of the hollywood studios archway and all you mm -hmm. see then is the big monstropolis tower for, yeah uh for the for the company and that's where the ride is um does that mean more is coming eventually to that i, I don't know i mean it's it's a decent amount of space back there but just getting another roller coaster in Hollywood mm -hmm. Studios is really going to benefit that park in a major way. Help draw away some of that overcrowding at Rock and Roller Coaster yeah. at Tower of Terror. And what this means maybe is that they're going to keep Rock and Roller Coaster the same. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like everyone so desperately wants them to change it. We just every year ourselves keep convincing each other that this is going to be the year they're finally going to switch it. And then they never do. And Disney's probably like, we have never said that we're switching it. Why do y'all have this in your brains? Right. I wish they would. I mean, uh, like yeah, I'm I, not attached I, to Aerosmith. I don't care. I, I love like the music. Could, right. But I'm just like, why don't you just retheme it to something IP? Like we don't, and you know, I don't know. Then you'll get the IP <laughs> um, haters uh, on that. So you yeah, put everything I mean, as an IP. You're in Disney. It's okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I do think it's time for a change over there, but I think there was a lot of rumors that Hollywood studios would maybe turn that ride into the monsters Inc door coaster. Yeah. Yeah. This pretty much confirms as far as we can tell that ain't happening. That's now, fine. An extra but, one is better than just redoing a, another one. I don't mean, I don't that know. is At true. Least now we get an added one. Final note on this. There was a little bit of a hubbub about this replacing Muppets courtyard. Mm -hmm. I don't think it makes sense. I think there is some legality that they have to still honor Jim Henson in some way when they got the rights to the Muppets. I could be wrong on that. So I don't know that they could. And I will riot if they take away Muppets Courtyard. I will do Really? I will... <laughs> That's the hill you'll die on is Muppets Courtyard? Well, not the hill I will die, but it's a hill I will die on. I love going into that land. I love that. It's just, it feels so, what's the word? Um, not a, it, it feels adjacent to Disney, like it's close enough that it's Disney because they own it, but it doesn't feel too Disney. Does that make sense? Okay, and that's, that's kind of like Galaxy's Edge, though. I mean, it's not like yeah, because Star Wars wasn't always Disney, but I think that's even been so integrated into Disney that that's now Disney. Like Muppet mm -hmm. still feels to me like they try to make it closer to it, and it just never does. So, with that being said, I'm happy that Monsters Inc. It's coming this we're getting this coaster but there's also maybe opportunities better opportunities to put it elsewhere in the park that does it for hollywood studios the main stuff the only thing and maybe i'm i'm, I'm forgot this Brittany, if i'm mistaken for epcot is this brand new lounge that's going to be coming uh to yeah. the park and that is going to be in the spaceship earth vein um are yeah, you disappointed I by the lack of epcot news 
Not really. Um, you know, we already know about Test Track, and they did announce that it'll open in 2025. That's which I fair. I think we already knew that. Um, so, and then they also just finished with, um, why am I blanking on the name of it? The Communicore Hall. Yes. And they've had, they've had so much construction going on for so long. Like, right. let's give Epcot a break. We're good. No construction in Epcot for a while, please. No more walls. No more walls. So no more I'm walls. fine with, I'm fine with that. I think Epcot, it, we're, we're good. Um, and I think we also forgot to mention that there's a new Pirates Lounge also opening in Magic Kingdom, which I'm interested to see if they will serve alcohol there because it's not technically a sit down table service restaurant, but you would think like lounge and pirates correlates with rum. Right. So that'll be interesting to see. Definitely. I they will find, I think they're going to find a way to make that work. You yeah, know? I think they will too. Yeah, so that's just too much money left on the table if they don't yes, do that. Definitely. Uh, so a lounge back in Magic Kingdom, but this lounge for Spaceship Earth. I mean, obviously, it's not the most exciting thing for people, but mm -hmm. listen, they're making investments in the park still that are going to probably be on the lower impact side of things. Um, I get the feeling that give it another, not next D23, but the D23 after that will be back to another cycle of, okay, what do we need to do with Epcot? Um, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe finally the world showcase, but that is the magic kingdom majority news. Again, we may have left some stuff out there as a final note before we go to our fun segment about our top picks in this, just you pick for me one announcement from either Disneyland or just something major from Disneyland or foreign parks that you wanted to bring up. Yeah. Uh, I'll just do a quick rundown of yeah, Disneyland and kind of let you take the um for what am I looking for across the, the seas works yeah there you go <laughs> um, uh so for Disneyland really for the Disneyland park the only thing that was announced was that they're getting that new Walt Disney animatronic mm -hmm. which I know you're pumped about I am pumped about that yep so yeah. that's pretty cool just gets my little Walt love and heart going. There you go. Uh, we're going to have to go back just so you we, can see we, that. We will. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, and then for DCA, they have announced four new rides for DCA. There's going to be a Coco boat ride. Yes. And Avatar boat ride. Yes. Which sounds different than Navi River. It sounds like it's going to be themed more to Way of Water. Yep. And then there's going to be Avengers Infinity Defense and Stark Flight Lab both in Avengers campus, which will double the size of Avengers. Yes. Campus. Yes. Uh, now listen, mm -hmm. I loved all the Disney world announcements, but my gosh, they brought it for Disneyland too. And mm -hmm. maybe not as much, but doubling the size of Avengers campus, having visited. Yes. Yep. Um, you know, bringing the Walt animatronic. Yes. And I am very perturbed that they are getting a Coco ride and we are not. <sighs> maybe someday. And, you know, I know you wouldn't like this, but I feel like the thing that makes the most sense would be to replace three caballeros with Coco. Here's the, and this is where I think people are a little bit shocked with me when I say this. If you know me, you know, I'm a Donald Duck fan. In fact, above my head right now, there's a Donald Duck statue, courtesy of my sister and brother-in-law. <laughs> um, huge Donald Duck fan. I would give up that ride. The only solely Donald Duck ride with two caballeros to go with it um for coco i would i would do it okay i know, that, I'm I know that's a shock it is a shock and i every time i say that to people when we're talking about this topic they're like kyle are you okay but if we could get coco in the mexico pavilion that'd be perfect yeah um sorry Donald. i think there there would be a lot of refiguring that would have to be done because they couldn't have that line inside the pavilion like they do now yeah. they would have to like completely restructure that anyways we're getting off topic but yes i'm excited for the coco ride as well it's not off topic if it's about <laughs> disney parks uh <laughs> as a just very we're not going to go too much into the international stuff but i'm gonna hit the highlights here lion king land coming to paris again just stab me amazing. in the heart amazing hey, stab me in the heart because you're putting it overseas from me that in and of itself uh, is amazing. I believe there were some more announcements of things coming to like Avengers campuses overseas and stuff like that too. Uh, they talked a lot about the frozen land that's opening up um, mm -hmm. at that park over there in the Paris region. And then you had uh, the announcement of more, and this is not really a national international, although they do travel international, uh, more cruise ships coming yeah. to the Disney cruise line, 
Will they have that full fleet? Will some be circulated in and out of usage because time is a factor for those boats sometimes? We will see. But there you go. That's a roundup for the most part of all the things that uh, were discussed, at least the ones that we wanted to talk about from uh, D23. Coming up, we're gonna talk about our top three announcements each from D23. D23 announcements, we've gone through them all at this point and or the most that we could, that we have time in our limited uh, podcast time to do. But now it's time for us to have some fun with it because we all got opinions. Most of them stink. Mine more than anybody else's. <laughs> but hey, let's talk about rankings. Your top three announcements from D23 for the parks. Now this can be for us, Walt Disney World. It can be Disneyland, International. What do you got? Let's start with number three, Brittany. I'm going to ladies okay. first. You go okay. first. What's your, what's your number three announcement? I think I'm going to go with Lion King Land. And this would be higher on my list if it was going to be in the States. But right. you know, how many times am I actually going to get to go to Lion King Land? I, you know, I'd be lucky to go one time. Uh, I think it's a shame that we don't have it in Animal Kingdom Land. Maybe D23 2026, we will get to another To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, we kind of do. It's basically, Africa's basically like got all kinds of Simba. I need a Lion King log ride, Kyle. It's not that the same. We need that Pride would... Rock. It's not the same. But we have a water ride over there with Kali. You know, so that is that... not even, no. I understand. No. Number three so, for you. Number three. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I I love that land. And it, it you'd think it would make my top three, but it doesn't. Um, my number three, let's see how shocked you are. Is it going to be Villains Land number three? Yeah. Are you going to be mad if it is? No, I'm just it's shocked. You're right. It's it's Villains Land. That's mm -hmm. my number three. Okay. I, I love it. It's We've been waiting for it. I love Disney villains. Give me Hades all day. Uh, but there are some things that get me going a little bit more. And you maybe know where I'm heading now yeah. with this out of the way. Yeah, I think I know what your number one must be if it's not Villains. but Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. <laughs> But number three for me is definitely got to be it, villains has got to be on the list. It's an element to Magic Kingdom that isn't there yet, and it makes too much sense uh, for this not to have happened already. If we mm -hmm. get another coaster out of it to continue to spread crowds out with major attractions, it's just it's a very easy thing for it's not easy like it's we can just do it overnight, but it's an easy concept for Disney Disney to start thinking about and working on. I'm glad it's finally no longer blue sky. We know it's coming because that Josh tomorrow, the president said, hey, these are not blue sky. These are an active development right now. Number two for you. I'm going to go with the Encanto ride. I love Encanto. I think it's so cute. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just love Encanto. I don't really know. Um, the theme, how the theming is going to feel yet, if it's going to feel like it belongs in Animal Kingdom. Um, yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited for a boat ride. I love a good boat ride. I love Encanto. I think it's going to be super cute, and I'm excited for it. I'm a little underwhelmed. That's your number two. I didn't realize that was big. I knew you liked Encanto, <laughs> but I didn't realize it was that big a deal for you. Well, right. it's going to be inside the casita, too. It's just going to be so cute. See, I don't I, know. I, I'm excited me, for it. Here I'll make our I'll make our listeners and viewers mad. I'm not a big Encanto fan. Like it's just it never landed with me. It's fine. I've watched parts of it. I haven't watched the whole thing. I know what happens. I know we don't talk about Bruno. Okay, I get it. But um, I, I I think it needs to be in the parks. It makes sense to be there. I'm not going to take away your joy for having the Encanto okay. ride. Don't but don't do that to me. Number two is for you. Number two for me. We're not in Walt Disney World. You know how much I love Marvel. It's yes. it's it. I listen. I've been to Avengers Campus when they announced that they were going to not only finally make that third ride at Avengers Campus, but on top of that, make another one double the size. You have not experienced a Disney imagination, a, a Imagineer's imagination, until you've experienced Avengers Campus, like from the food to the rides, to everything. Just chef's kiss. Like, 
the two coming, uh, I know one of them that has been talked about a long time, the uh, Infinite Defense, uh, Infinity Defense or whatever it's called. Yeah, Infinity but then Defense. The, the new Iron Man related ride is kind of a cool concept too there. I'm super excited about that because bring me the Avengers and it will make me a symbol in California Adventure yet again. <laughs> I'm that I was shocked that we got another one out of that. Didn't shock me that we got the one ride announcement for Avengers Campus, but the two. Yeah, I felt that was that was pretty big. That sent me over the edge. That's awesome. So do you have an honorable mention before we hit number one? I think my honorable mention is probably your number one, which is Monsters, Inc., I'm super excited. I won't for that. reveal anything yet. I'm, I'm very excited for a new land, especially in Hollywood studios. Um, I think it's a honorable mention for me just because I'm not the biggest monsters Inc fan. Um, but I'm super excited for a new land and a new coaster. My honorable mention would be your, uh, number three, I think is what it was. The uh, lion King announcement. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I, again, it's the one thing is that it's overseas. Yep. If this thing, was in Disney World, it would be instantly number one. I just down. can't believe it hasn't been done before. Like Lion King, yeah. Pride and Rock, that is such a staple. That is classic Disney. Like, well, we really dropped the ball. I think Disney overestimates how much Lion King, I think they believe Lion King pervades Animal Kingdom so much, and it does. Like, if you go back to their original like announcements of it, it was all about Lion King, you know, with the Festival of the Lion King show. In, uh, all the other things it just it's feels just like that not, it's not i know about that <laughs> i know now it isn't but i would love for something like that to come that's my honorable mention so hmm. with that being said number one for you announcement is villains for sure hands down by far no shame listen no shame i have no qualms with that being your number one why is no. it that you're number one though i love villains i love magic kingdom i love roller coasters i love halloween Okay. Need I say more? <laughs> well, no, that's pretty, pretty simple. They pretty have girl. been teasing us with this for years, and I'm so excited that it's finally happening. Um, the concept art just looks awesome. It, Like you said earlier, it is something new for adults to enjoy also, where I feel like yep. so much of Magic Kingdom in particular is geared towards children, that it's exciting when we get something that is geared more towards adults. That's true. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a very, it's not completing because Magic Kingdom will never be complete, but it does fill a gap uh, that I think needs to be filled in that park for a certain yeah. group. A, I mean, not even adults, just older people, because even though kids are like, you know, they like the villains sometimes, but that's more of an adult thing to kind of mm -hmm. relate to the villains because I think as you know, adults, we're all a little villainous sometimes. Oh, of course. <laughs> My number one, the one announcement that when it was made, literally made me stand up out of my seat. And I'm not even kidding you. The Monsters, Inc. Yep. <laughs> Ride and land coming to Hollywood Studios. I did not think that would do it for me. But the fact that they're adding to Hollywood Studios, not taking away, retheming Rock and Roller Coaster, that you're going to get a Monstropolis. Um, and where I think it's, as we discussed already, where it's going to go, it just makes so much sense. It's something new. What I mean, need I say more? Like it was a I, surprise too. I, I didn't see this coming. Or I've never even heard of it before. I don't know if other people have, but that was not something that I'd ever heard mumblings right. of. So that was a very nice surprise. At least like Villains Land, we've all speculated on that for so long. Right. So this was a great surprise. Right. It, it was a surprise. It it makes sense, oh, and I think so. Oh, we got we got a little visitor there to the <laughs> to the podcast. What's your top three, Ollie? Oh, he said, I like Lion King. Oh, of course he does. It's so may, we'll, we'll start calling uh, Ollie the podcat, being the podcast. <laughs> the friend. podcat. But there you go. That's a great yeah. way to end the show uh, with a visit from one of our friends named after Oliver and Oliver and Company. Right? Oliver, just a basic orange cat name. Well, I'd say he's after <laughs> Oliver and Company, the movie, but. Anyway, there you have it. Our top three announcements and honorable mentions for D23. Our D23 show is done. I think we covered it all, Brittany. I think we did. I'm sure we missed some little minor announcements here or there, yep. but there was just so much to talk about and so little time, but I think we hit all the high points. We hit all the high points. Plenty more to discuss, and we'll, I'm sure, have some carryover in our episode three of Eye yep. to Eye in the Parks. So thank you guys so much for uh, being with us. As Ollie wants to say goodbye one Ollie more time. Ollie says goodbye as well. 
Goodbye as well. And uh, real quick plug for you as our resident travel agent, where can they connect with you to follow you for your content and just connect with you if they want a vacation plan? Yeah. So as Kyle was saying, I am a travel agent specializing in Disney. You can find me over on Instagram at Brittany Vacations. It's B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y. All my travel planning services are free and you get a $25 gift card at check-in. <laughs> Let me use me as your travel agent. <laughs> She's got it down pat at this point. And if you want to keep up with I2I I stuff, you can follow us at I2I I in the Parks on YouTube, where you'll find this episode played, but plenty of other content from the parks as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until we assemble again, may the force be with you, and we'll see you. Real Bye, soon. guys.